What's doing? Welcome back. Uh, today we have another 79 series. We're in for some cool stuff. Let's go check it out. So we've got this, this Victorian one. He's come up the dirty Mexican. He's come up from Victoria and he wants some upgrades. He obviously got a little bit too excited and he's already hooked in on me. And uh, there's already an array of parts out of the vehicle. Uh, so you can see we've got injectors are out. And glow plugs, we obviously want to do them all here, but we're doing an injector upgrade. Uh, this is getting a fan. So we're going to do some fans. Uh, he already has a air box, so we don't have to touch that. Power pipe's going to get replaced. Turbo's going to get replaced. And uh, you're enjoying life? It hasn't yeah. been too bad, obviously. It's not been too bad. So it's Victorian ones are a lot. So it's, uh, yeah, we're hooking in. So we're going to go big boy injectors. Uh, we're doing a rail blank. We're doing a turbo. We're doing, it's already got airbox. It's already got clutch. Uh, and it's already got an exhaust. So we don't have too much else to do. But uh, we're going big boy turbo. We're going to go the 400 series. So we're going to go the 400 series G turbo titanium. Uh, it should be hopefully getting delivered here this morning. So Josh has got pumped in, ready to go on Friday. Uh, today's Monday. Uh, and pulled all this apart, so we're ready to go this morning for all the parts to arrive. Um, this is a pre-DPF model, so we're going to pull all the rocket covers off to get the injectors out. Um, so they're heaps of fun, compared to the DPF models, which are just on top. Uh, so he's pulled all them off. We're just waiting on the parts to arrive. Uh, and then I'll show you underneath the car, turbo going on, all that sort of stuff. And then we'll get on the dyno and we do the cool stuff and make some powers. So finally got some G-Turbo stuff here ready to go. It's a big trip across the country to get the parts here, but we've got them. And uh, all freshies ready to go in. Josh already started unpacking them. He's been excited. He's put them away already. Uh, so we've got uh, some big dog injectors. Uh, so we're going to get them all in, get them coated in. He's just uh, slotting them in here now on this side. And this side is going to get pulled apart next, just so we didn't have too much stuff lying around the bench. And then uh, you can get into doing the fans, the turbo, uh and the power pipe so we'll continue upgrading as he goes what are you doing <laughs> Looks like it. we're gonna do something though yes we're gonna we've got some fans unlike jess we've got some fans the g turbo intercooler fan with a temperature probe and we power it all up so it should be all nice and easy we're just gonna plug in some values and uh Give uh, Josh a probe. Give me a probe. Yeah. Temperature probe. You ready? Ooh. So he's uh, got the inner cooler back on. We're going to take the grass cover off. We're going to take some sealant stuff off and uh, get the fan kit on there and uh, make some cool noises and keep the intake air tension. I'll walk away for one second. He's already got it on. Oh, it was an easy tip. Yeah, oh, apparently it just goes there. It just goes there, bolts it down. And there's like little uh, bolt holes for everything. Yeah. It seals down. There's foam underneath. You can probably see under there. To seal it all up. So and I think it's just probe power and earth and you're done. And that's it. Nice and easy. Please. So uh, Josh, let Josh get on to his next step of uh, probing and bolting. And then we'll uh, get on the next step of power piping and turboing. Turbo. So Josh is just going to start wiring this in. Uh, so we're now wiring it through the power outlet. So we're going to have power, earth, and ignition. We'll get you some steam signs so you can see it. But power, earth, and ignition going through to the power outlet. And we can tuck the wires around all nice and neatly. And there's controls under here. And the controls are coming on off with the probe. So uh, I'll let him get in there. I won't get in your way anymore, mate. I won't slow you down any more than you already are. Wow, thank you. <laughs> and now we're on the next piece of the puzzle. We have the G400 Titanium. Looks awesome. Spooly boy. Made in Australia by G Turbo. All their diagnosing and testing and all that sort of stuff gets done in house. So you know you're going to get a good product. Uh, this will go in nicely. Just size that intake. Get that in here. Uh, it's going to make some big huffing noises and make some horsepower and torques, I reckon. Now, pretty much the final piece of the puzzle is the power pipe. So they make this big dog power pipe, bolts in the company placing. Uh, they also give you a custom engine mount to put in to give you a bit more clearance. Uh, so Josh will just found this out, and that's a constant that goes on turbo. They always go up in the air, so you can have a look. That's glaring. But you can see turbo needs to go in that vacation there. 
and there's an engine mount here we're going to have to take out and replace. So we'll uh, get the engine mount out, we get the power pipe and turbo in, and then hopefully we can hit the broom button and uh, get on the dyno. So once he gets this all in, and then we get on the dyno, we're going to do a bit of a two tune on this one for the only ones two. Uh, so we do the project power mode tune, and then it'll get it up and going. So we do a bit of a quick comparison. So big G turbo, standard turbo. Big turbo, standard turbo. So there you go, that's the differences between the two. Uh, one's higher, obviously, because we've got studs on this one and not on this one yet. Uh, but yeah, big boy entry and little boy entry. So uh, physical size is pretty much the same. It's just the housings and internals are different. They go back in the same spot nice and easy and uh, make some big spoolie boy noises and then all the talks. And we're back. It's now uh, Friday. We've got the parts in Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, so Josh smashed out all the parts for me. Uh, got everything on there, ready to go. Warmed up, bled up the coolant and uh, going to fill it up. So we have g turbo fan kit, g turbo power pipe kit, g turbo G400, g turbo injectors. Uh, the customer already had the G turbo airbox fitted as well. Uh, this is an early model, new models come with the filter all the way out, which seals a lot better. Uh, so maybe I'll grade that later as well. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's all in there, all ready to go. Uh, we have a dyno. That's right, so it's ready for dyno. Uh, so I'm going to run a power tune on this one, uh, one of our project power tunes. So there's a button in the dash, I'll run inside and show you now. Uh, we press a button and it converts it to two different tunes. Uh, the customer didn't want to have four tunes on this one, so that's fine. Uh, he was going to go with a single, and then he called halfway through the build and said, hey, can we do a dual tune? I said, yeah, that's cool, no dramas at all, we'll get it wired in. Uh, so we've wired in the button. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a economy slash tow tune, and then a full power mode tune, so you want to be needed if you can be, uh, and give you that option. Uh, you don't have to have full noise all the time. So I'm running inside, and I'll show you the speech. So for those that have been watching our stuff before, you'll see it's just down here. And it's a project power mode button here. So if I turn the mission on, it'll light up and tell us when it's on and when it's off. So nothing else changes. It's keeps all factory buttons. And we just take up one of these space, any bank blank spaces there. So this is a G Turbo G400 warrior package on a DPF model we did the other day. Uh, so we'll see if we can get something close to these numbers for the customer. The DPF and non-DPF models are completely different in the way of injection and ECU control as well. Uh, so it won't probably go as much as that, uh, but we'll see how we go. We want to keep this thing safe, keep it reliable. He's driven up from Victoria, so we make sure he can you know, go down to Victoria and, and basically never have to talk to him again and be happy with his car. So that's the plans. We'll run it up. We'll uh, get some numbers in it. We'll have a bit of a play, have a bit of a tweak with the two, tu two tunes, the two tunes, and uh, see what we can get out of it. So I've just done a bit of a base running. I'll just put a base tune file in uh, to see where we can get to go, what we can get to do, and I'll throw around to see what we've got. So, uh, map one, map two. Uh, so, we've got a bit of a change. Uh, I've got some things to tidy up and, and have a bit of a play with. Uh, but so far, that's where we're at. Now, if I change, and then I have the computer screen down here, if I change this here to boost, when I'm in the gauge, uh, you can see our boosting is pretty much on the same all the way through. I was going to do some adjusting the fueling and, and everything else in, uh, in the map for right as well. So, we change around with all that sort of stuff. Have a bit more of a play, load another file in, I'll get a good difference between the two maps. So otherwise it's no point having two maps if they're only a couple of kilos different. Uh, so it'll make it a good change between the two. I'll try and make it a good tow slash economy tune in map one, and map two will have the power tune. So I'll have a play with the ECU now, load another file in, and then we'll uh, run it up and I'll show what it looks like. All right, so we're back. Uh, load another file in, have a bit more play, and she's good. I've got some more fixing to do, make some bigger gaps, but now we're getting sort of close to that 300 kilowatt. And we can close to a thousand newton meters. Uh, so we're going to get some big gains here between power and uh, your tow modes, uh, but still get some good figures. So I'll keep having a play, uh, I'll get some good differences between the two, uh, and then we'll get it nice, get it running. I'll do some power runs on the so you can see it. And uh, so it should be some good things. So that you can have the best of both worlds here, where you can have that good tow mode and you can have a good idiot mode as well going on the weekend. Uh, we, like I said, we do these with touring series and stuff all the time where people want the economy mode and then a tow mode as well. So we can keep it in that stock you know, better than stock economy, uh, and then we can go through the full power mode as well. So I'll get stuck in, I'll get back to you shortly. We're out of wind. Uh, so I've taken the power out of map one, put some power in map two, uh, so there's completely two different things going on. I'll get Josh to hold the camera and show you a run up. I'll just do one of the runs, I'll do map two because it's more aggressive and more cool. Uh, but I'll show you the screen now so you can see what's going on. Uh, so you can see got two different boost levels going on. We're peaking out at you know, 43, 42 pound on, on map two. 
and we're hitting them 30 down on that one. Our AFRs are completely different as well, and our power figures are completely different. So I change down here to my other screen. Uh, that's what we have to deal with there. So map one is our everyday tow mode. So 250 kilowatts, 780 newton meters. And then map two is our idiot mode at 300 kilowatts and 912 newton meters. Uh, so yeah, that pulled up. That's just where it came back up on the roller. It fell off the, fell off the front roller. Uh, making some big torque, uh, big power. And yeah, this is a pre-DPF model. So it doesn't make as much torque as the DPF model. Uh, just different injectors, different ECU. But still some awesome games, massive differences in power and torque. But we'll do a video now, we're running, and then uh, we'll get him on his way. But wait, there's more. I'll borrow Josh again. Go, Joshy. We've got hard cut limiter as well, so I'll get this uh, turned off and get a play through it, have a chat with you, and uh, we'll uh, get this customer out on the road and get him drive it. So there it is, D Turbo goodness, G400 power pipe, fan kit, injectors. Uh, what else has this thing got? Josh exhaust system, and uh, that's about it in the way mods. Oh, airbox is already on there. Uh, but yeah, that's the mods for this one. Uh, we can tailor different things to suit your needs. But obviously, if you want the power and the torque, we need to obviously do the mods. Uh, so now we're going to uh, get this thing tidied up, clean up our fingerprints and all those bits and pieces. Uh, get him off the dyno, go for a test drive, make sure it drives nice, because that's the main thing. We can make numbers on the dyno, but if it doesn't drive nice, there's no point. So make sure it drives nice, has all the right bells and whistles for cruise and acceleration and all those things. And then uh, we'll get him on his way. He, I think he's going back to Victoria. So uh, we'll get stuck in. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. If you have any questions, hit them down in the comments below. We can supply, fit, and install all this. We can ship it to you all of Australia. Uh, so let us know if you need any help with anything from G-Turbo. That's it for me for today. And uh, what do you reckon, Joel? Does the thing. Hit that like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. <laughs>